It was once a secret city lost in Siberia. Krasnoyarsk 26 did not even appear on the map. Until George Kreil of CBS News went there 12 years ago, American television cameras had never been allowed to see what went on here deep inside a mountain. The making of enough plutonium for 100 nuclear weapons a year. Now Krasnoyarsk 26 is going out of business. The reactor that produced the plutonium, the last one in Russia, is shutting down. It's a very, very important step uh, for Russia to have taken. But, says Sig Hecker, a former director of America's own secret nuclear city at Los Alamos, stopping production still leaves Russia with 150 tons of plutonium. They have so much material uh, that the concern of Russian nuclear materials, you know, getting out of the proper facilities and out of the proper hands remains very high on my own agenda. Hecker visited Russia's secret cities in the chaotic years after the fall of the Soviet Union. When I saw their practice uh, of how they did the protection, the control, and the accounting of the nuclear material, uh, I was terribly concerned. Hecker says the controls have gotten better, but Krasnoyarsk 26 was the last of 13 reactors that once turned out weapons-grade plutonium for the Soviet Union. The nightmare scenario of a terrorist group like Al-Qaeda getting its hands on a 10-pound chunk and turning it into a weapon still remains. I would say that's a very difficult process, but not one that's impossible for a terrorist group. As for the U.S., it has not produced weapons grade plutonium in 20 years, but still has a stockpile of nearly 100 tons. Katie? David Martin reporting from the Pentagon tonight.